Man. If I tell y'all this, man, y'all. Y'all probably won't believe it, bro. I know I've been gone for a while. But um, before what I'm about to tell y'all happened, I was working a lot and I was tired because I'd be getting up at like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. 3, 4, 5, like it was like times where I had to work Tuesday, what, Wednesday to um Tuesday or Wednesday to um Wednesday to Wednesday. That routine and just getting back into work, like when you've been out, when you've been gone for so long, like been out of work or unemployed for so long. Yeah, it's real, bro. What happened on um on, uh Monday was man. Got a whole goddamn cast on, bro. I just had woke up a little bit um earlier, so uh, like, but um, yeah, man, I got uh, your boy got hit. Got hit by a car, bro. I don't need y'all. I'm not saying I'm not asking for y'all sympathy. I'm just letting y'all know. It was tragic, bro. Like my life flash. You know how they be like in them um in them um in them shows and stuff. You know when you they always say, uh, I seen that in everybody else, Chris in that moment. Like you said, when you say when you're about to die, your life flash before your mind did. I thought it was over, with, man. I had to I had to catch my. This is, I hit, I'm 300 pounds, so when I got hit, still, I, I did, I, my whole body lifted and I flipped, like, I had to catch my head, bro. Got surgery on this thumb, shit was literally dislocated, bro. Like, my bad, my bad, my, trying to fix myself, talking a lot right now, but my thumb was, Literally, my bone, they connected this bone right here, was right here. Like, it's, uh, I didn't want to see the x-ray, but when I seen it, I had it on the computer, I was like, oh, my. that is insane, bro. It was literally out of socket, bro. I don't wish that on nobody. What happened to me, I don't wish on nobody, bro. Hey, it's life. I'm in recovery mode right now, and I fucked up my knee. But that's part of the process, too. Probably had to get surgery on that, too. But hey, man. I'm still alive, bro. That's all that matter. I thank God, man. Every day. Enough of that, though. Look, I want to check out um another slap ham video. You know, I'm into like these scary videos and these, you know, I'm open minded to it, like for sure. Just this gonna. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slap Hello. Ham. Let's You're see. about to see some of the scariest videos. I'm traumatized though. Like it keep me playing in my head. Like it was full speed. I got hit at, bro. And me being the size I am, man, and, and lifting up that fro, that that high and flipping, and I had to, I bro. My instinct kicked in immediately because if I would have hit my head, that probably, I probably would have died, bro. I felt like I was gonna die. Like that was it, bro. But. Instincts, man. Them, them angels. My guardian angel, as some would say, man, came through. I'm just thankful. I'm highly thankful. Videos going around the internet. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Let's see what you got, Ham. Come on. Man, I'm still it, man. I may be in pain a little all bit, right, but I'm alright. TikTok user Alyssa094 sent shivers down the What's spine going on of her with followers this when she uploaded a video on September 2nd, 2023. 
In the eerie footage, Alyssa recounts strange occurrences in her daughter's bedroom located on the top floor of their home. Yeah, they outside. Bro. According to her, an unsettling presence becomes visible when a flashlight is cast from a no. level. Take a look. They're like, right, fuck that shit, there. no way. Oh, now it's gone. Put your flashlight down. Let's see no, if it'll do it again. All right, put it up, hurry. Oh, look at that. Watching that again slowed down, you can actually see the blinds move, despite no one being in the room. While some viewers speculate yeah, bro, that this might just nah, be an that elaborate ain't, that setup, that ain't the move right there. Literally, man, y'all gotta go. This house really could be haunted. Y'all recorded it outside, bro. Strange sighting in the comments from the from the crib. Y'all gotta go. That's the that, bro. That's obviously right, a sign. Flash it up there. Oh, now it's gone. Put your flashlight down. Let's see if it'll do it again. All right, put it up. Hurry. Oh, look at that, dude. Man, hold up, y'all. The hell? This is for the security of the uh, laptop, bro. Let me see. Ooh. Gotta wait on this shit. You know, I ain't do it for a minute, so it's tripping. Producers, if you've tried Arcade, you already know it's an inspiration machine. Bear with your boy, you why man. I'm back. It's 100% worth it to re-download for your productions. Arcade is... On January 14th, 2024, the back, Instagram bro. account Alien I don't Bioma think I thrust I don't itself think into the spotlight with like a video that's enough. become the talk of the town in an online horror I know community. I keep talking about it, man, but... Capturing a peculiar moment in broad daylight over San Diego, the footage reveals a spherical UFO. I ain't cried nothing though. Hell no. I took it like a champ. I did. Most striking is the I was strange in the hospital, object's shape, uh, making a them laugh, from man. the conventional dislike forms that have become synonymous. I can always, with UFO you can always sightings. find good. I'm telling y'all that you can always find the good and the bad in the worst situations. You can always find the good and the bad. It's, and I would <laughs> be able to still be happy. Uh, you know, I don't like to say happy, but still be joyful, man. And, and when being in them facilities and, you know, them centers and stuff, hospitals, man, that's, that's everything. That's what life is about. I'm telling y'all. Zooming in on the object, viewers are met with an assembly of scrap parts and medals, raising eyebrows and prompting questions about its origin. The eerie resemblance to a man-made creation adds an additional layer of intrigue to an already mysterious sighting. So is this an avant-garde creation, perhaps an elaborate hoax, or an authentic glimpse of extraterrestrial activity? I think so. That second one, that second one he, that second point he made. Come on, I feel like that's the right one. I'm just saying. In a I'm recent not, TikTok upload, I'm saying it is true. But here, the picturesque some stuff we, scenery some stuff we have no idea about. Takes idea. a chilling turn as a mysterious creature surfaces from the tranquil waters during sunset. Bro, that's a goddamn. The footage captures an unusual creature seemingly diving in and out of the water with erratic movements. Commenters on the platform have drawn connections to the Sulu Badar, a mythical being deeply rooted in the folklore of the Malay archipelago in Indonesia and Malaysia. The creature is said to Man, haunt those who reside near rivers or it don't come my way. fishing for their livelihood. 
Researchers yeah, no. remain skeptical about the existence of the Sulu Badar, I mean, sometimes referred to as Badar tendrils, emphasizing the, the uncertainty surrounding their original form. Thought about Despite looking exhibiting like aquatic movements akin to other river dwelling tendril. creatures, the Badar tendril's elusive nature leaves experts Aquaman? perplexed. The tendrils yeah, reportedly attack humans I feel like when they sense that look a like threat, that often causing large waves or disturbances uh, in the water. Sea creatures and all, bro, I'm telling you. Legend shrouds the Badar tendrils' origins. There's very little information on this mythical creature. I'm telling, bro, I'm telling y'all, bro, y'all gotta listen. I'm telling y'all, become bro. difficult. Listen, I'm Some not, not steering y'all wrong. I'm not gonna do that. Discarded fabric in the river, transforming into a mysterious creature with four heads on each corner of the cloth. Badar tendrils are said to stalk swimmers, individuals in small boats, or those walking near bodies of water, potentially but you ain't gotta believe me, though, unsuspecting but I'm just saying. victims. I'm still Witnesses you, who encountered you know, the creature everybody got different perspectives, bro, but I feel me personally, I'm not speaking for nobody else. Light, I think it's, very similar it's some to stuff that looks like of the what, you, what I've seen in Aquaman that look that As looks the like online that in the community ocean, debates down. the creature's identity, questions linger. Does the entity in the eerie video truly mirror the it's some down in there, bro, I'm telling or could you, it be something it's else all entirely? Type. Theories abound and the mystery deepens, leaving viewers I don't want to get too deep in it because a lot of people really got their own perspectives creature? on how they look at stuff, man. But, bro. Does this video actually show that it might actually exist? Share your theories and speculations on this I think one it in do. the comments Honestly. down below. People can comment, type whatever they want to do, about, but I think, uh, bro. Did you see you see that bro? The ocean bro, the ocean probably the most mysterious place spot in a in a or whatever in the world, bro. Be first on your block with a hundred percent frustration free Tacus fiber you. internet. So you can avoid loading screens and Let spotty streams. Man. Become a VIP at Tacus.com oh, where you do your own research. I can, that's as simple as I can put it for some of y'all. Not all, you know. In recent weeks, a peculiar home security video has taken the internet by storm. Uploaded by user Antonio the Leo, the footage captured by their doorbell camera has left viewers both baffled and intrigued. Take a look. Bro, what? As the footage unfolds, viewers are confronted with a series of strange lights hovering in the air. But that's not the only eerie element. Overlaying the visual spectacle is a snippet of a familiar tune, the Sesame Street theme song, specifically the line, Can you tell me how to get, repeated endlessly. Unsurprisingly, this bizarre piece of CCTV footage has gone viral, drawing bro, the attention of thousands of curious onlookers. Nah, Among bro, those captivated by the video, no, a multitude nah. of theories have emerged. Bro, what is going on, According bro? to the video's poster, the dancing lights could be a form of communication from a poltergeist, an unsettling prospect that sent shivers down the spines of many viewers. Others have entertained the notion that the source of the mysterious lights might be extraterrestrial beings or even time bro, travelers bro. attempting to convey nah, a message bro, that's, through that's a some movie shit, bro. Song. Hell no, nah, man. Nah, man, that's some creepy ass shit, bro. Hell no. Nah. I, I ain't telling you nothing. Interestingly, that. some netizens have drawn parallels between the uncanny phenomenon and the Voyager bro, Golden no. Record, a project initiated hey. by NASA. Curated by a committee led by the renowned Carl Sagan at Cornell University, the Voyager Man, these videos, Record bro, is a compilation God, designed bro. to represent Earth to potential extraterrestrial life. Ooh, it features nah, I was watching these sounds, type of videos music, before I was started watching Slap Man, from our planet. And, you know, through other channels. However, it's crucial like, to clarify you know, that the Sesame Street theme this they say song is not theory. among the sounds etched onto theory. the official Voyager Golden Record, as some commenters have mistakenly believed. 
as the internet Man, continues all, to speculate type, it's, it's and so, dissect every frame just, of this I don't like to think video, about it too much because behind this phenomenon bro, remains it's, elusive. It's literally whether it's the work of, of a shit mischievous poltergeist, an extraterrestrial message, or simply an elaborate hoax. You have the to, enigma of the doorbell search, camera some, footage continues to fascinate. To some extent, found, you have to believe that. As with many mysteries, a lot of people just be looking at you to elude us, leaving room for the imagination to run wild. Ain't crazy. You have to really be. An open-minded person. Let's, let's let's just say that. Some of this shit will throw you off, but nah, bro. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna. I probably never forget that ever. I, you cannot unsee that. He's a quick, eerie little one uploaded to TikTok by user Briscoe Park. This user was out filming their late night stroll one night. Nah, I'm just everything checking this around. Perfectly not, fine. Not really. Uh, I ain't do that because of the video. The video. Sometimes you think you see something, you know. You... However, when they reviewed their footage when they got home, they were creeped out by what they saw. If we watch the beginning of the clip again, you can make out a pair of glowing red eyes. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. The user mentioned yeah. that they did have a sense of being followed while out on their. Bro, board, why is you fu they brushed off the feeling, thinking it was nothing? Wait, hold up. So, what do you think these eyes belong to? Is it just a normal woodland creature, or is it something a little more sinister? Nah, look how. Let me know in the comments. Nah, oh, bro. Oh my fucking. Lord, forgive me, but bro, oh, bro, 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 nah, man. I just feel really weird. This next one was just, uploaded to TikTok I, by just, user just, Jeremy just Jenkins like, bro, too. Wait. It's some spooky footage the user I mean, captured. This is not new to me. I told y'all this. this is not new to me. This, this shit is crazy. My Tesla sees a person. You can't oh, fathom this shit. It's just like, bro. That's Look at this shit. The video captures the chilling moment Jeremy's Tesla Man, this detects sometimes this shit don't feel real, bro. The I, I, when you see stuff like this, it just it make you just that has me freaked out. Is there someone there? What? Hold on. There are numerous hold on, hold on, examples hold on, hold on. on the internet of Teslas detecting people with their senses when nobody's around. So are these Wait, cars just the glitchy, or are they capable of detecting things beyond the realm of human perception? That's creepy. Love to hear your take on this theory. Bro, nah, the bro. Down below. I think that bro, I don't want to get too deep. Man, I don't want to get too deep, bro. I really don't, because I will. I will I fire them shot. I will. I'm telling you. I don't want to get too deep. Before we get to though. that number one spot, that remember to hit that right subscribe there, button, then tickle that little bell icon there, and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll Maybe be in the loop every time we drop our scary or mysterious videos. I'm really not. I've been doing, I've been, I've been Listen doing my up, thing. Listen up, fam. I'm going to show y'all how to stack up $5,400 right now That's for how free. Get but you I'm betting most shit. of you won't cause you be think a it's a scam or you're just too lazy. But here's your wake up call. Click the link. A peculiar video has surfaced shared by a Reddit user known as Doozer85 over on our Slaptam subreddit. The footage sent by a friend's mother captures an unsettling encounter at her front door during a quiet night of watching TV. The homeowner residing in Belding, Michigan recounts seeing a dark face with unnaturally bright glowing eyes. Wait, hold up. Is it? Or is something else? Fellow Redditors were at a loss to explain the strange sighting. Some thought it might be a wayward bear peering in through the window. Others went into the realms of the supernatural, suggesting it's some kind of demonic entity looking to gain access to their home. Shit, I ain't... Hold up. As always, though, I'll throw this one over to you, the viewers, for final judgment. The wait, nah. 
Have you ever heard of the bizarre disappearance of Melissa Caddick? We took a deep dive into this truly baffling case over on our brand new second channel, Slapped Ham Mysteries. Here's a little snippet. In the early hours of November 12, 2020, the quiet, affluent suburb of Dover Heights in Sydney, Australia, witnessed the beginning of a mystery that would soon grip the nation. Melissa Caddick, a 49-year-old esteemed financial advisor, vanished without a trace. The aura of enigma surrounding Caddick's disappearance wasn't just a simple case of a missing person. It soon unraveled a tale of alleged deceit, financial mismanagement, and a desperate search for truth. Melissa Caddick was not an ordinary Sydney cider. With a thriving career as a financial advisor, she lived a life many could only dream of. However, beneath the glitz and glamour lay a tumult of alleged fraudulent financial activities. In the so she really straight. saw her own leg off to evade capture by the authorities. To find out the full story, head on over to our brand new channel, Slap Ten Mysteries. Follow, uh, we'll Slap put a link to that episode too. in the description box down below. We'll also pin it in the comments. And we'll see you over there. I haven't watched it yet, but I mean, I was like, somebody had looked out for me on that. In the comments. Yeah, man, that was crazy, man. I'm telling you, man, I'm just, I'd be shocked, bro. I don't be shocked because I know about, I've been new about this stuff, but some stuff, like, it go further into it. Like, with these videos, man, see what they see, bro. And it's the ones, that, the YouTubers, I was watching their, um, <clears throat> You know, they, um, it'd be like a split screen for them, and then the, um, trying to say the, uh, well, y'all know what I mean, but, uh, yeah, man, this video was crazy. You know, I'm gonna come, keep coming with them, keep coming with these, man. I got my, Little injuries going on, but it's all right. I'll be all right. I can I can toughen it out for sure. Name life tough, so you gotta be tough. You gotta be tough with it. Ain't that the damn truth, man?